Hey haul, and I'm just gonna get into it and not like ramble a bunch. And for a Mac Ulta, so yeah, I'm so excited to finally just film this and start using all this stuff. So I'm gonna start with Sephora actually. Um, I did two different trips. I didn't get like a lot, a lot of things. Like they just gave me really big bags for some reason. But I did get some good stuff, so I'm really excited. I got this. This is a Laura Mercier. Matte Radiance Baked Powder. I'm not even gonna lie. I actually did already use this. I just put it back in the packaging because everybody does that. Like, we all do it. Don't want Matte Radiance Baked Powder, like I just said. And so I wasn't planning on getting this, like, at all. Like, I had already seen it a few times on some videos. And people, and it's what? And I was just like, I don't need that. I have so many highlights. I need to stop buying highlights. And then I swatched it. It's beautiful, like, uh, it's not necessarily matte, like, but when you put it, oh my god, it's so pretty, like, it it looks wet, and when you put a spray, like, you spray it, um, Fix Plus, or, like, my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, when you spray a spray on top of it to make it more intense, it's, like, looks so wet, you look so good, um, What's the word? It, it's not like chunks of glitter. It's very finely milled. It's fucking hot in here. Alright, next thing I have to show you is um, this. I also bought this. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black Rollerball perfume. They had it like when you're checking out. And I smelt it. And I remember I had smelt it like before, like a while ago. And I didn't... Um, like it very much like I was just like why does everybody say it smells so good but I smelt it again I think I might have smelt the white one I don't know but everybody says that the white one and the black one go good together I got a black one but I don't know I have to try that out next time I go to Sephora but I just smelled the black one and I was like oh my god that smells really good and when you put it on your skin it smells even better it says Wait, where is it? It just says Violet Sandalwood Vanilla. It smells just so freaking good. Supposedly it's supposed to be like a beach scent, but it doesn't really smell beachy to me really. I'm going to purchase the full size. They are actually 100 point perks. They've been having like really good 100 point perks lately. And I don't know why they're just starting to have all the good ones now. Like, but... I don't know. I'm thankful for it. But, like, like, I'm not complaining. What? What? I'm so excited. I cannot speak correctly. It's 100 point per, and I was like, yeah, let me get that. And Because I've never tried anything from this brand. I've been wanting to try something from this brand for a long time. And it's the First Aid Beauty oh, excuse me, Ultra Repair Cream. And it says Intense Hydration for Dry Parched Skin. It is intense. It's very thick moisturizer but it's like just what I needed I've been using this a lot actually since I got it like a few days ago and yeah it's just really my neighbors are, have been like arguing since this morning it's like two o'clock now they're still arguing like what are you arguing about next Thing that I have here, though, it's another 100 point perk. It's the Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment, and yeah, it's just one of their face masks, and it's a really small little tube. So I probably get like two or three uses out of it, um, maybe four. I don't know. I don't use a lot of products when I put a mask. I'm really excited about this. Because I also haven't wanted to try something from this brand for a really long time. But it's just so expensive so I, it's good that I can try this now. And if there was any treatment that I would try from them, it would be the brightening treatment. Well, that's all I got from that trip to Sephora. And then I went again. Um, and yeah, I went again. <laughs> I got the Origins High Potency Nitamins. It's the Origins um, moisturizer set. It's called Rest and Recharge. 
This is only $22.50. That's a really, really good price to be able to try this out. And especially because this is pretty good size. Um, what? This is a pretty, these are pretty good size moisturizers. Like, how much is in here? One ounce is in here. I don't really know how much that honestly is. Like, I don't know. But, um... Yeah, there's a lot in here. It comes with the high potency vitamins, mineral enriched renewal cream, which I had on my list to get from Sephora. So I was like, oh my god, when I saw it in the set. And then it comes with the ginseng moisturizer. Um, hold on one second. I saw Kathleen Lights talk about the Origins high potency vitamins, mineral enriched renewal cream. Cream? Cream. That's a lot. Um, so obviously, like you put it on at night. And I'm really excited, really excited to try it. I've actually already tried the Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer. And it smells like oranges. And it's, it makes you feel like really rejuvenated when you put it on in the morning. And like kind of gets you going. Um, so I'm really happy about that. Really excited to try the other one, the night one. Because that's the one that I originally wanted to go and buy the full size. So really excited about that. And then I also got... They had this mini NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I was like, what? They have it in mini? And it's actually really small, but I don't go through concealer like too, too quick. Like I've had the concealers I have in there for like so long. Like probably shouldn't have them for that long, but I still use them and they still work good for me. Like nothing bad has happened to me as far as I know. So I got the color, hold on, let me finish telling you. I saw this when I was checking out and it was mini version. I was like, what the heck? That is so weird that they have a mini version of the concealer out. But I guess it's so popular that they were like, yeah, let's just put it out for more people to try in a smaller version. Which is, was, oh, oh my god. Which was like a really good idea because I was all about it. I think it was like $12. Yeah, $12. For a concealer, NARS concealer, which is pretty cool because I'll probably have this forever. I got the color of Custard Medium 1. And with concealer, you're actually supposed to get a color that's one shade darker, not, not one shade lighter or two shades lighter. Because I believe if you get two shades lighter, it actually doesn't cover your dark circles like you think it would and brighten it. It actually makes it look kind of gray, which is also why you need to put a what is it called a corrector like a salmon color a pinkish color or orangish color underneath your eye before you put on your conceal concealer because that's supposed because if you don't do that if you don't correct your eyes before applying your concealer it'll again make you look kind of gray under there and more darker than probably even you did before so yeah so when you buy are buying concealer you should definitely get a color that's one shade darker than your skin tone. This is the size, the cap is like way bigger than the actual product size, but I am so happy that I tried this or that I bought this because I love it. It's so good. I don't know why I waited so long to try it. I just thought like it was hyped up for no reason, but no, it's hyped up for a good reason. It's really good. Like it covers my under eyes like no other and it just looks so good. And I'll definitely be buying full size when I run out of this, which will probably not be for a really long. Okay, so next, I'm also really excited about this. I haven't tried it yet. I'm, oh, I can't wait to try it. It's the Glam Glow Thirsty Cleanse Daily Hydrating Cleanser. And it says it's a mud to foam. I haven't heard too much about this. I have heard people talk about it, but they don't really go into detail about it. Um, I think this is a... It's a mud. What am I doing? This is a really generous amount. It was $14, which is, I feel like, not even that bad. I mean, it's not a big, huge bottle, but there's probably, like, a lot in here. Next, I have MAC. What I got from MAC this time is so exciting. Usually when I go to MAC, the things that I buy aren't, like, too exciting. But this time, it's really exciting. So I got... Oh, I'm so happy. 
I got a palette and this palette was an already made palette. These are $85 and which is pretty good because I think if you've actually bought the panned eyeshadows and everything and the palette separate, it would be a lot more I believe. Um, and this one is called the Warm Neutral Palette. Um, it has some of the like famous, more famous eye, MAC eyeshadows in here um, and then some that aren't. It has Brulee, Honey Lust, Amber Light, Saddle, Dark Brew I believe is also um, popular. So some really good shadows in here. So yeah. Some really beautiful colors. I'm sorry about how many times I have said excited that I'm so excited, but I really am. Next, I also got this. This is the Extra Dimension Eyeshadow, which if you don't know, I, I believe it has like different shimmers in it, like different color shimmers. Or, no, I, I think it's two different, it looks like it's two different colors. Um, it's the one in Grand Galaxy. Let me show you the color before I swatch it. This shade looks like it is purple in some lights, and then when you turn it, it looks kind of gray. But I usually don't buy single eyeshadows anymore, but when I saw this, I was like, I need to have that. So yeah, it does look kind of grayish, but then purple, oh my god, it's so pretty. And this color isn't too vibrant to where you can't wear it every day. So that is awesome. This, oh, so exciting. Let me swatch it again. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I'm going to be using this probably a lot. A lot, a lot. This is probably, like, going to be my new favorite single eyeshadow ever. It's so beautiful. So I have some products to show you from Ulta. The first thing is this It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is really, really good. It's kind of thick. It's not really thick, but it's kind of thick. It feels kind of moisturizing. And it has amazing coverage and it looks flawless, like flawless. When I tried this, I was just like, whoa, crazy. This was also, this is also like a sample size um, because I just wanted to try it. Oh my god. Okay, so this is the Hand Food Sugar Crush hand cream which is one of their different scents of hand cream then they have their regular original pink hand cream smell which is the smell they have I believe for a lot of their stuff which I love and then the smoothie star hand cream and you know I wash my hands a lot so I don't want my hands to crack and then germs getting where it cracked and everything I need I need to not wash my hands I need to wash my hands <laughs> I need to wash my hands, guys. I'm disgusting. But, um, no. I need to hydrate my hands because they have been getting so dry because I wash them a lot. So. Yeah, and this was $12. And these are really good size also. And I got this apple. Alright, so second to last thing. This is the OPI Nail Polish in It's a Piazza Cake. And basically it's the same color as the lip color that Kathleen Lights created.